So what's your favorite part about being at this event uh, as we preview what's about to happen? Well, like I say, a major's always, I'm always excited to play in major championships. Like I said earlier, I'm playing in four majors in the next six, six events, so uh, I better have my game ready. I know I'm getting ready to see this golf course today, and hopefully uh, it'll, it'll fit right into my game. You mentioned the support you've been given this year as the defending champion. What has that been like? It's been overwhelming. You know, all the guys that, that I try to that I try to beat every day have just been so so great to me, and it, it's just, just everybody. You know, it's, you know, even even you people here today has been just overwhelming, and all the people that I've met and people have been so, so kind to me. I, I, it, you know, being to come back from what I what I've done and where I've been and what I've what I've done and accomplished, it's just. And it's hard, hard for me to, to really not knock on wood to think that I've, I've really done that, you know. It's pr pretty amazing. You mentioned that touching story about the health issues you've gone through. I right. mean, what is it like to be able to compete and not only that, be the defending champion? You know, it's something I've, I've said a long time ago when I, when I first got back on, on the Champions Tour. I said, you know what, I don't take anything for granted just being where I, where I was from. And, and, I, and, and bogey's not going to matter that much anymore. Of course, a double bogey might be a different story, but but you know you just gotta gotta go on, forget about it, and think of where or if I made a bogey, just go on, and and you know just <laughs> I'm lost words right now, uh, just just to go on and, and and not to not not let it bother me anymore. Just so I just don't don't take things for granted anymore. You see a 21 year old like him become the youngest player. That's pretty amazing. Championship. I mean, how important he, is it to applaud the older athletes as these younger guys continue to? It's, it's amazing, you know. They hit it so far these days, and they're 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 taught a whole different game than what I was taught growing up. But uh, it's amazing, the 21 year old. He he just looked so calm yesterday, and it's it's good good for him. That's great great for golf. What does it mean to you uh, when you hit the age of 50? The fact that the Senior Tour, the Champions Tour, is there in terms of extending the career of a, of a professional. Oh, it's it's off. It's awesome. Like I said, I get a second second chance. You know, back back I, I quit in 2000. 2004 and 5, and I thought I was done. And then to come back when I got this Champions Tour and I turned 50, I got a two-year exemption, and uh, so I got my got myself back together and it's new, new life for me. And some of the players on the Champions Tour have actually had their best golf of their career on the Champions Tour. Better careers on the Champions Tour than pretty on the much so. Tour. Pretty much so. I've, you know, I've, I've, I'm, I'm hitting the ball better now than I think I did on the regular tour. Cause I got a teacher now, so that maybe that kind of kind of helps things out. That's the only thing I regret, like I said earlier. But um, you know, it's, it's great to have a have another something, another job to fall back on, instead of instead of fading away into, into the wind, you know. Are you here? You didn't go for your health issues. Um, that's that's a good question. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know if I would have picked it back up or not. But just something in the in the hospital just went all light went off in my head. Said, listen, I want I want to play golf again. And like I say, my wife looked at me and said. I, mean, I just hope you'd be able to walk again, or you could play golf with your buddies on the weekends or something. Much less competing at this level. It's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. For those of who are not familiar with what you did go through, just briefly tell us what it was that you went through. It was Stevens Johnson syndrome. But it, actually, my uh, plastic surgeon who ended up diagnosing me with that. I mean, I, they thought I had rheumatoid arthritis, which I never did, and so um, they feed me with a bunch of drugs and a drug interaction, which burned me from the inside out. So I was basically treated like a burn victim. So I get all my, my arms and, and legs got skin grafts on them and like you say, just 25% survival rate, just lucky to be here. At that point you're thinking life's over. Oh, pretty much. So I didn't know what was going on. Me and my wife, we had to drive up to Duke University, which is about a five hour drive from Savannah. And I just sat there and watched, watched this burning of my legs just start to spread, start to consume my whole, whole body. And uh, luckily they, Duke got it stopped. And uh, if, if it wasn't for that, and I wouldn't be here talking to you right now. And here you are playing on the Champions Tour. It's amazing. Golf. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, I, I can't believe it myself. I got to pinch myself every morning when I wake up. Yeah. It's still hard to believe your name's on that trophy. So it is with, with Jack Nicholas and Arnold Palmer and Gary Players. It's, it's amazing. It'll be there forever. So that's, that's something that, 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 that I'll treasure forever. What's your favorite part about playing with athletes who have accomplished great things in other sports, like right here today? Like right today, yeah. I mean, Ray, and I've played with a bunch of football players, basketball players, hockey players today. It's, it's, it's amazing to, 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 to see these guys, how big this boy is right here. I, I don't think I could put my arms around him. I don't want to get in his way on, a, on, on ice, but uh, 
it's it's gonna be fun. It's it's, it's amazing to see all these guys. I, like I say, professional golf. I've I've got to meet so many so many people, presidents, athletes. You name it. It's it's, it's, it's a, it's it a great life. That the professional golfers have the tour come here to New England and to Massachusetts. Uh, how does it feel coming to a place that you know is a real sports town? Oh, this is like I say, the Red Sox. And seeing all that, and, and like I say, back when I was. Playing on the regular tour at Pleasant Valley, and I've come down, come down here and go to some nice restaurants. All the fans here are great, so hopefully they'll remember me when I come back. <laughs> How much note taking is there today? How many what? How much note taking is there today? Uh, not a whole lot. I think the cold weather. I'm gonna try to stay warm as much as I can, but I'll, I'll have a mental picture of it though. I'll, I'll do that. Get my caddy to work on that when he comes, comes here. Thank you very much.